exciting. Spontaneous. Draining. I would say seven. Um, it's definitely easier than I thought it was going to be. Probably eight. It's definitely on the harder side for, you know, a creative course to do at uni because it is very academic and there's a lot of theory and, you know, business um, terminology in that. So I would say it was like a 5 out of 10 practically. It's quite easy to pick up the skills of fashion, but it was a 10 out of 10 in regards to my creativity and having to navigate what was expected of you versus what you expected of yourself. The ability to experiment. I think it's nice to have an opportunity to try, fail and learn without having to worry much about it. Definitely the people that I have met um, during my time here. I feel like there's this big misconception that fashion is this really mean, competitive industry and yeah sure that might be true for you know some places but I think LCF is such a nice community and it's very collaborative. I would say my favourite part of being a fashion student is the people that I met and also the space to learn about yourself and grow. The constant pressure to be original and to produce new ideas all the time. I'd say the worst thing is probably FOMO, which is fear of missing out because you're always wanting to do as much as you possibly can and sometimes you need to take some time for yourself to take a step back. Is the fact that, in my opinion, they completely break you down before they build you back up and that is to make you into a sellable, marketable, hireable designer and not so much nurture the creativity inside you. <laughs> encouraging everybody wants you to succeed not only in your course but as well as in this industry it's very positive especially at the moment maybe that's just lcf because people tend to have like a positive mindset there but i think with the direction of fashion at the moment in terms of the industry in terms of the bigger focus on sustainability i think that is making fashion the atmosphere on fashion a lot nicer really good as long as you put yourself out there and make a conscious effort not to isolate yourself which i think can be really easy when you've got so much work all the time it can be very easy to get into a state of like i just need to work i'm not going to be sociable but always try and have that balance and make sure that you are social because that is what makes it an enjoyable place to be I would definitely recommend living in the halls for uh, at least the first year of your studies. Um, it is way less stressful, uh, especially for someone like me who moved from another country uh, to the UK study fashion. I lived in halls for my first year studying fashion and it was definitely a great time. Yes, I would recommend living in halls. It was one of my favourite places. I met some of my closest friends there. <laughs> Don't overthink it and just do it and everything else you will figure out as you go. Just know that it's going to be challenging at times and it's definitely going to take, you know, the extra hours going into it, a lot of effort and a lot of willpower to just stay on the right path. Just kind of consider where you would like to go with that. I know it can be hard to know um, when you're first starting out, but do you want to go into textiles? Do you want to go into costume? Do you want to have your own brand? So just kind of be aware of the positives and negatives of the career options that you've got once you graduate. <laughs> Stressless. Everything is not um, as difficult as it may seem. So just enjoy the present moment. Enjoy where you are right now. Just knowing that even though it's a creative field, that it's still going to take some academic strength in some areas. For example, my course in general is just quite academic and theoretical, not just the way it is. And I wish. I had known that I do need to know how to reference and read academically. I wish that I had looked more into the statistics of where people went to work after graduating. So I would have looked more into how many people have gone on to do postgraduate, how many people have gone on to work in fast fashion, how many people have gone on to make their own brand.